What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today is a fun one. I promise we're back in my living room because we are going on the packing journey. As most of you guys know, in less than three weeks, I am out of this place, RIP, a lot of great memories here. So I'm actually gonna be moving my entire TV and kind of placing it in the packing area. Let me show you guys quickly. So this guy is moving to here. And we're gonna be replacing the TV, which is currently there, with something maybe a bit more portable. LG just sent this over, and I thought this would be cool as a temporary setup. It's the LG Mini Beam. Essentially a small compact projector that lets me get an image up to 100 inches, which is around the size of this wall. And there is some good news. I did work with LG on one of my last videos as well. That was the 4K monitor display, and they agreed to either give one of those monitors or this projector away. Just be sure to leave a comment down below on say this video, come tell me how big of a pain in the butt it is to move, or just say hi, I'll be sub to the channel, and I'll announce the winner and hopefully ship one of these out before I move, so I don't have to actually transport it. Win-win in my books. So for those wondering, this has been the 65 inch Super UHD TV. It's been awesome, it's been great. It will probably live in my bedroom, in my new spots. Let's get this guy out of here. Very weird to see this entire space without anything. I think it's the first time in five years has this wall been this blank. Sad. So here is the actual mini beam projector itself. And you can kind of see how tiny this guy is. Easily handheld and this thing can be transported, as I said, way more comfortably than a 65 inch TV. So essentially what this guy does, I can create a full 100 inch projection onto an empty space just like this wall. The optimal viewing size is between 60 and 80 inches though. It projects in full HD so you're not getting any weird potato quality stuff. It's 1920 by 1080. It's got a two and a half hour battery built in so you can go completely wireless, which I'm a huge fan of, which kind of just increases its portability as you won't need any wires. Set this puppy up right here and start projecting onto this wall. It actually has a little tripod mount, so I've obviously taken my favorite tripod accessory. I can pivot this in any way that I want. Okay, so it's booting up here right now. Okay, let's go through those settings. I've now got this set up projecting onto my wall. It's currently charging. You can use this proprietary or you can even use USB-C, which is dope. I do wish the lamp was a tad bit brighter. I know that's always the problem with projectors. Obviously, this will become better as the day goes on and as it's nighttime, it's darker, it will be brighter. So the sound output is quite limited from this projector, but you can always hook up external speakers via Bluetooth. It has that capability. It's got a bunch of built-in apps like YouTube, but you just saw that we were watching me on my wall. But if you've got standalone devices, like say a Chromecast to watch Netflix, or heck, even my Xbox One or PlayStation 4, let's try to hook this guy up and maybe get some Far Cry 5 on. With two cables, we seem to have a bit of success. Obviously, Xbox plugged in, HDMI to the projector, and we are running Xbox on 100 inches. And I guess the dope thing right now, we are running on batteries. So two and a half hours on a full charge. I can just disconnect the Xbox. I can pick this puppy up and I can actually carry this to the bedroom and watch stuff in my bed if I want. For any of the old school peeps that have been watching me for more than a year, you might know that we are in the old studio, now obviously my bedroom, and some of you have asked for a tour. There is literally just my bed and white walls as I have changed nothing. Bed, this is where you used to look. The camera was set up right here. There used to be a desk with my iMac. All I have now is a lamp, um, some candles, and obviously whew, the bed. We can get this guy going 
that's kind of cool. I can just carry this guy around essentially anywhere. And now I've got my own little projector. Okay, let's head back into the living room now. Woo, doo -doo -doo -doo. The LG mini beam I think is the perfect solution right now for me as I just can't have too much clutter. This thing is tiny. It's honestly perfect for people that are on the go. Maybe you want to take this with you in your car, you're on a road trip. I think the possibilities are almost endless. The fact that I am now running a full HD picture can get a hundred inches without a wire two and a half hours. I think that is so, so dope. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, this guy isn't as bright as a conventional TV, isn't 4K, I can already hear the comments, but I think for those specific uses, it's different, it's fun, and obviously, portable. Remember to leave a comment down below, either for this or the 4K monitor, and if any of you have any tips for moving, please help me. I need help. I'll catch the rest of you guys in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.